Welcome to Good Mythical More. We are trying all of these Martinelli's apple ciders to see which ones are worth your purchase. But first, we're donating $1,000 to the NAACP Legal Defense and Educational Fund to aid in their mission to fight for racial justice. Through litigation, advocacy, and public education, LDF seeks structural changes to expand democracy, eliminate disparities, and achieve racial justice in a society that fulfills the promise of equi equality for all Americans. Please join us in giving at NAACPLDF.org. Yes. Okay, um, are you a Martinelli's man? Because you know they've got no. the they've got the smushy apple juice that when you bite the bottle, it it sounds, sounds like, like you're an biting apple. an apple. But uh, I don't think they knew that until it started happening. Uh, I know. Don't have I, I, I'm here. not a, much of a sparkling sparkling guy, man. I like sparkling water. You know, like I'll do. I'll drink a Lacroix with the best. I of them. I used to be a big apple juice boy. But now I'm an now, adult, so I've got to have the non-alcoholic oh, no, sparkling. But you didn't like sparkling apple juice. No, never had that as a boy. Yeah. Which for, one is not, this? Not for boys. This is just sparkling cider. But it does make me, you know, it does it does feel like a great way to usher in the holidays. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Apple juice with a bite. It's super nostalgic. You said you like, never had it. I didn't say I never had it. I just said I'm not much of a I'm not much of a sparkling guy. But is I've a had, memory coming back? Yeah, it's just like oh yeah, get your sweater on. Yeah, we got to get in the car and get to the Christmas Eve service. Like it has that kind oh. of feel, you know? Like oh, I think Mama Nell just threw up in the dining room. Yeah. Memories. Yeah. Um. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. Maybe I should start doing this more often. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't, I, I, I want to see what we got to compare it That's to. That's just straight up cider, right? Unfiltered apple juice. Oh, this is, you know what? Throw, throw in some I unfiltered like the apple idea juice. of the unfiltered nature of things. Unfiltered? I'm a pulp guy when it comes to orange juice. So this know? is like a Hefeweizen, but just apple juice. Is that how you say it? Hefeweizen. A cloudy beer, weedy beer. I missed the sparkle. It's tough to start with the sparkle to yeah. lose it. Yep, you gotta recenter. You have to take all your sparkle expectations away. You know, Martinelli's quite a success story, Link. Tell me about it. Yeah, Stefano Martinelli. This is good. Set sail for California from Switzerland in 1850, hoping to make it rich during the gold rush. Okay. Instead. He settled in a temperate climate and fertile area known today as Watsonville, California. I've he been there. He began farming beans, mm -hmm, grain. So central California coast. And like eventually. South of San Francisco. Near apples. Santa Cruz. Along with his brother, Luigi. Luigi growing them apples. They soon realized the apples they were growing were of exceptional quality. Ha ha. How, how do you realize that your apples are of, of exceptional quality? Ooh, 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 ooh. You taste them. And then taste other apples. Yeah. I mean, if you're an apple grower, it, that that's probably like a thrilling moment. You know, it's like you take this big risk. You're going over to yeah. to the to rush the gold and in, in America from Switzerland, and you find yourself growing notable apples. Notable, exceptional. And and, and 150 years later. We're sitting here drinking on the internet. Sitting here drinking it, man. Luigi would be rolling over and standing up and giving us a thumb up, sitting in his grave. <laughs> you know what? He'd be, he'd be he'd be jumping up and his legs would be going like this. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Riding on a little Yoshi. Um, congratulations, Stefano and Luigi. You've been dead for a really long time, but you is know it what? still in the family? We appreciate. Let's see. Hopefully. Let's see. I don't have that information. Um. Now that we put enough space in between that sparkling and this unfiltered, I'm liking the unfiltered. It's a good apple juice. Now, this is sparkling That's apple a good juice. A that is a good apple juice. <laughs> What's the difference between a cider and an apple juice? Because these are both, this is a sparkling apple juice. Well, I think it might be filtered. Oh. No, we're past this. I'm I, under this. All right, now. I'll read the uh, ingredients. You read those ingredients. Um, okay. Ingredients, ingredients, ingredients. 
Pasteurized 100% carbonated apple juice. Uh, I got pasteurized 100% carbonated apple juice. So what's the difference between apple cider and apple juice? There's no additional ingredients. 180 calories for 10 ounces. 150 calories for 8.4 ounces, so essentially the same. What's the difference between apple cider and apple juice? Pray tell. I would think that is cider had like some other ingredients in it. All right, so this, this is doesn't. one, this is two. These, these are, all right, here it is. Maybe we can. Filtration and pasteurization is what Morgan says. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare. I'm gonna switch these around and I'm not gonna get confused. This is sparkling apple juice. Ooh. And then I'm going back to the sparkling cider. Cider's got more bite. Yeah. I like cider better. This tastes like it's for boys. This tastes like this is what you give your boy when you want him to start getting introduced to sparkle. Yep, so we need to switch these. We think, no, this is better. So this is actually in the right order because I think this is, this is the best apple juice I've ever tasted. Well, you can take the jug home with you. But it's staying in, in, in slot number two. And this is Agreed. staying in slot number three. Agreed. All right, let's move to sparkling blush because I'm getting a little embarrassed. <laughs> so this is uh, got alky in it? No, none of these have alcohol in them. Contains no alcohol. 100% juice from U.S. grown fresh apples and, and pears. Taste it and see if you can tell. Grapes. Got grape juice mixed in. Lean more into the, the coloration. Cherries? I feel like Stevie right now. You're getting closer, but not really. Think if cherries were smaller and there were a bunch of them together on it. In Raspberries? Like, yep. You know, the, the smaller bunch of cherries. Raspberries. Raspberry concentrate. Hmm. Raspberries, concentrate. So they make it look- If you look, don't, you might not make it through the winter. They make it look like a, a blush of wine, but that's really just adding raspberry concentrate for color do and you, taste. Do you think that giving, you know, the adults have the wine, have the alcohol. Yeah. They give the kids the non-alcohol that looks like alcohol. Does that make them feel like, oh, they crossed over the line a little, just enough to, to lose the temptation? Or is it, does it invite them over the line so that they're gonna drink later in life? Can we do a study, double blind, peer reviewed, mm -hmm. published in nature. So only, we get a bunch blind of, children? No, the children don't have to be blind. Cool. We get a bunch of children. We give some of them this alcohol, this stuff. Yep. The other ones, we give we them just, nothing. We give them nothing. We see which ones get- 20 years later, right. which ones are really into alcohol. No, let's just wait until they all die and let's sample their livers. Sample their livers is a long experiment. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to get our children to finish it. Double blind life, well it's kinda like the Martinelli family. This is what we can pass on. The ongoing double blind, what do we call it? We call it the sparkling blush experiment. <laughs> and is this better? Sponsored by Martinelli's. I, I don't love this. It's Is it better than that? Do we need to switch these? It's worse. Yeah. Raspberry mm -hmm. concentrate. Put doesn't, that there. All right. Doesn't so let, do it. Let's see if, ooh, apple grape sparkling. Now that's what I thought I was having. Apple grape. This has got the grape concentrate. The bottle design is really the thing that I'm very impressed with at Martinelli's. Like they, they go all out. Like you feel super fancy when you got to peel off some foil to get to something. Sometimes this, I, I, I take advantage of that principle. I wrap a lot of things in foil. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not compelled to ask any follow-up <laughs> questions. It's just if you want, hey, all I'm saying is, if you want something to seem special, wrap it in foil. Now Ooh. this is nice. It's it's got a Welch's grape juice feel to it, but not which enough. Takes me back to memories. Uh, Mama now vomiting in the in no. the kitchen. I like grape juice, and I never have it. I'm kind of frustrated because it's not grape enough. What like sparkling grape juice is good. This is not as good. I think this is just the right amount of grape. I think if it was more grapey, it would be offensive almost. 
I think this is really, really, I'm almost thinking it's got too much grape in it. Don't get me wrong, it's better than this. So I'm definitely doing one of these numbers. At mm. least it's moving up here. Um, I personally think it's better than the apple juice, but that's a unique jug. Mm-hmm. That puts it over the top for me. So I want to keep this here. Don't you, you know, if you, okay, if you were to buy this from the grocery store, are you the kind of guy, I know you're not. Uh, I'm not. What to, kind of guy? To then take the, like, to take this back, you would throw this into the recycling, right? I mean, and you hope that they do the right thing with it, right? What do you mean? Like, do you think you could take that back where? To, no, no. Like, I, well, there's some places you can return. To Martinelli's? You can Fill return bottles. Again. You can return bottles to different places. You know, like, in fact, you can refund this in um, Oregon for 10 cents. In Hawaii for five cents. I guess that's the only two states that you can return it in. But don't you just, I just feel so bad when I've got something that feels like such a useful jug. I mean, this has got well, leaves like, you know, em yeah. embroidered yeah. on yeah. it. Yeah. I kind of want to fill it with sand art. Yeah, fill it with sand and put a little put, put a little scene down there. Now this, um, you can return in Maine, Iowa, or Hawaii for five cents, Michigan or Oregon for 10 cents. Or uh, They got different bottle laws? Yeah, I guess so. We have a message very quickly, very important message for all of you mythical beasts across the globe. The international shipping cutoff for official mythical merch is coming up. December 1st. So, what we're saying by that is if you want some mythical merch. Kind of like this. That you've had your eye on and you want it for the holidays for yourself or somebody else, you got to get that order in by the 1st of December, okay? <sighs> Mythical.com. Coming up. All right, let's taste this last one. There you go. Uh, sparkling apple, apple cranberry. Cranberry. Oh, cranberry can do some work. Apple cranberry. Apple cranberry. Is that a reference to something? Spark Gregberry. That's my LeBron James impersonation. Oh. Okay. It needs a, it needs work. Tis the season. Spark Gregberry. This will help with uh, urinary tract issues. Mm. A little bit of bite, but maybe not as much as I want. I mean, I think this is good if you, this is for the kids' table. When they want something, they don't. You got to acquire the taste. You got to teach them to acquire the taste. So we could have a whole group of kids in our experiment that just is on the cranberry. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna check. You got to. You got to. Uh, we're gonna check their uh, a great urinary group. tract as well as their livers when they die. Yeah, a grape group, a raspberry group, and a cranberry group. And we may end up learning something that we didn't expect. It may be that raspberries make people live longer. I like that. I like knowing that my urinary tract is. Um, is intact. It's not as good as the grape. No. So I think this is our final, final ranking here. So you're saying that your plain old sparkling cider is the best. I think I can agree with that. Yeah, you just can't. You just can't go wrong with a little unfilt. If you're gonna this, buy one thing this, this season, but I would buy two, and then I'd throw in one of these. But don't throw this bottle away. Do sand art in it. Much love to the kids' table. Hurry up and grab yourself some Mythical merch for the holidays at mythical.com before it's too late. The international shipping cutoff is December 1st.